How are you going to get through Christmas? That's one of the questions that people ask me. And so one of the things that is a really, really great exercise to do for no matter what is going on in your life right now is to go to the end and see that it was the best Christmas ever and come from there. I mean, we call it an NLP timeline therapy, but that's what basically everything, all these um, manifestation, everything is just, and the Bible, everything, and science, everything is just saying the same thing. Go to the end, see how you want it to be. So here's an example. So like last Christmas, we had um, all my partner's um, Austrian family come over. And of course, I wanted to make sure it was the best Christmas. So what I did was I went to the end and I saw them leaving and I saw them hugging me and saying, Sheena, that was just lovely. Thank you so much. It was brilliant. So I went to there and felt everything there. What it was going to look like, <clears throat> what they were going to say to me. And I saw all of that. I didn't worry about the high at all. So I went to there. I saw it, I felt it, and I came from that state and I brought that state to now. I can't really bring it to now because I actually brought there to now. The here is here now anyway. So it it's always now. There isn't any other time. It's like the eternal now. So if you're not happy now, you're never going to be happy. It's just one of those things. You'll go up and down, up and down. You'll have little different variations of it depending on you know, maybe presents you get or or love that you have or whatever, but it's all transient. You can decide, you can create it all inside you. You only want the thing for feeling good anyway. So why don't you just feel good? So when you do that, when you see the end and you go, well, it's all worked out and quantum physics tells us that all these alternate realities are here and it's just a decision. Lesson one about Proctor, decision. And so you, you be that decision now and you come from that vibration. It will give you all the ideas, all the things to do from that level, not from the level of, oh, I hope it works out. Oh, this is just terrible. All of that vibration, then you will just end up feeling the same after Christmas. I want you all to feel good after Christmas, during Christmas and now. So what do you see? doesn't really matter what it is, but see people saying that was just the best Christmas. In fact, let's go to January and see that December was the best month ever. Such magical things happened. You don't know what they are. You don't need to say what they are. You just need to feel what they are. Stop thinking, start feeling. Feeling is the secret. That's the true manifestation. That's all you wanted for in the first place. And then it doesn't really matter what happened. Like last year, I managed to make the roast potatoes cold, even though they were warm already. And then I managed to burn half the Brussels sprouts. And But nothing mattered. I was just in flow of doing everything. And I didn't worry about a thing. So don't worry. It's pointless. You can't change anything by worrying, can you? I remember asking my mum that. And she said, yeah, but it makes me feel good. But does it? Does it? It's just a habit. Go to the end, see what you want, feel it, and feel that way today and go, I don't care because I've already seen the ending. I had to do it with my son. I would say to my daughter, it's okay, I've seen the end of the story, the end of this chapter, and it's okay. I promise, it's okay. Can you do this for yourself? Because it's not just for you yourself, it's for everyone in your world. Can you do that? A wonderful Christmas. I will see you before, but just in case. It's already been. It's January. It's the best Christmas ever. Julia 9.